what kind of flower is at the center of one of Vancouver's most beloved flower festivals? I've got a hint. Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to the Real Justine Priestley channel. I am the Real Justine Priestley, your local realtor with a twist. And you know I love Vancouver and I love fun, cool, weird things around Vancouver. So today we're going to talk about the cherry blossoms. Wow! We have some of the most incredible cherry blossom trees all over Greater Vancouver and people come from all over the world to see them in the spring. Apparently, there are over 43,000 cherry trees all around Greater Vancouver. In this video, I'm going to take you to the Big Picnic, which is part of Vancouver's yearly cherry blossom festival. I love how this Big Picnic sign is bookended by peak blossoming magnolia trees. This year's Big Picnic 2022 took place on a fantastic sunny afternoon in April at the fabulous location downtown at the David Lamb Park. This whole thing started in the 1930s when the first 500 cherry trees were a gift from the people of Japan to the people of Vancouver to commemorate soldiers that fought together in World War I. Established in 1995 and named after BC's 25th Lieutenant Governor David Lamb Park is a multi-use space located in Vancouver's Yale Town. Surrounded by luxurious condos and warehouses converted to trendy restaurants on one side and the pristine False Creek on the other. How about a live drum show at the Cherry Jam? But of course, the main thing is to picnic under the cherry blossoms. Hanami is the centuries-old practice of drinking under a blooming sakura tree. In Vancouver, there are many, many quiet residential streets that are lined with different kinds of cherry and plum blossoms in the spring. People flock to these streets where there are canopies of pink blooms, a ceiling all above them for blocks and blocks. If you find some of those places, they're easy to find online. Just remember, be respectful to the people who live there. If you love cherry blossoms, that's a great chance for you to smoosh the like. Just give it a smoosh. Fun fact, there are over 50 different kinds of cherry trees listed at the Vancouver Cherry Blossom Festival website with incredible names like the Accolade, the Afterglow, Akebono, which translates as the Daybreak, Amanogawa, which translates to Heaven's River, Autumnalis rosea, which is the pink winter cherry, Pandora, and pink perfection, just to name a few. There are many different kinds of trees, like I said, with all different kinds of blooms, and most people assume that all of the pink or light pink or whitish <laughs> blooms around Vancouver in the spring are all cherry blossoms, but many of them are actually plum trees. I just want to interrupt the fantastic flowers for a minute to let you know what I do. What I do is I help buyers and sellers overcome the stress of moving by being in their corner every step of the way. I'm never too busy for your referrals. If you're thinking about moving to or in and around Vancouver, just give me a call anytime. I'm here to help and I'm here for you. Let's get back to the cherry blossoms. Wikipedia says Vancouver has almost 50,000 cherry trees lining the streets and in the parks like Queen Elizabeth Park and Stanley Park. And the Vancouver Cherry Blossom Festival which is a cherry-themed celebration of the blossoms, has all kinds of events every year, musical events, and my personal favorite, Bike the Blossom. Speaking of the Vancouver Cherry Blossom Festival, their website is super cool. They have a blossom map that's live in real time. Check this out. You just click and you actually see the blooms, what they look like on the date of the picture. 
When I was clicking here, they were all within a few days. Woohoo! So that makes your cherry blossom viewing super easy. As you all know, I just love Vancouver and I love making these fun videos about cool, weird, interesting things in and around Vancouver. The Cherry Blossom Festival is one of my favorite things every year. Question of the day, where is your favorite spot in Vancouver to look at the cherry blossoms? Drop it in the comments. If you want to see another video that I made about a cool, weird, fun, free thing in Vancouver, you could watch a video about the crow roost. Thousands and thousands of crows all roosting in the same spot in Vancouver and you can watch the video right there. See you in the next video. Bye.